Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Hootai 3 FSR3 frame generation mod in Elden Ring. This mod also supports upscalers like DLSS, FSR3 and XUSS. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be using DLSS upscaler version 4 transformer model. The mod comes with an older version of DLSS, it's version 3.7.1. I'll show you how to update it to version 4. You can download the mod for free from Nexus Mods website. On its page, installation instructions have been provided. I'll quickly go through them. Just need to extract the mod files to the game directory, Elden Ring, Game. Need to disable the game's anti-cheat software. This means we cannot play the game in online mode with the mod installed. I'll be disabling anti-cheat software by using this launch argument. Highlight it. This mod is also compatible with Linux operating system. I have already tested it on my Steam Deck. Need to set the game's resolution to our target resolution, which is a monitor's resolution. Mod configuration overlay can be opened by pressing the home keyboard key. From this overlay, we can toggle frame generation and upscaler. There is one known issue with the mod. Highlighted here. Flickering, global illumination, that is black boxes on the geometry. Most visible in shaded areas, it is caused by either NVIDIA drivers or Elden Ring itself but made more prevalent by the mod so far there is no optimal fix for it a few workarounds have been mentioned restarting the game may make it go away temporarily sometimes using the global illumination glitch mitigation option in advanced settings frame generation which may reduce frame rate slightly depending on which option we have selected downgrading NVIDIA GPU driver to version 552.44 I don't recommend this Setting global illumination to low can reduce the intensity. I'll be installing a couple of mods to disable. Chromatic aberration and vignette improves anti-lacing and scaling quality. Download the mod by clicking on files here. Need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just download the latest version of the mod. Click on manual download here. Then click on slow download. Download the mod for disabling chromatic aberration. Click on files. Download the latest version. Click on manual download here. Click on slow download. Now just download the mod for disabling vignette. Click on files here. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. We need to use Elden mod loader in order to load disable vignette and chromatic aberration mods. You can download it from Nexus mods. Click on files here. Click on manual download. Just download the latest version. Click on slow download here. This game does not support TLSS subscaler. First, I'll show you the game's base performance and native image quality. We'll be installing two mods for removing vignette and chromatic abrasion. Extract the contents of Elden Mod Loader. Open the archive file. Select and copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Copy. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. Open game folder. Paste the mod files here. Elden mod loader has been installed. Now open remove vignette.zip file. Open mods folder. Copy this TLL file. Open the games install directory. Open game folder. Open mods folder. Paste the TLL file here. Open remove chromatic abrasion.zip file. Open mods folder, copy this TLL file, paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous TLL file. In this directory, inside the mods folder. That's it, the mods have been installed. Launch the game. My monitor supports up to full HD resolution. In game resolution set to full HD, display mode full screen, ray tracing set to low, preset set to maximum. I'll just disable motion blur and set global illumination quality to low, that's it. Standing at entrance of gate front runs, here FPS is within a range of 44 to 50. This is not good at all. Enabling ray tracing in this game is very heavy on the GPU as you can see. My character's hair is not looking pixelated or blurry. Native image, not using any upscaler. Check out the burning tree in the background. I'll engage in combat. 
it's the night time. Disappointed by the performance. I'll install the mod now. I'll add this launch argument to the game, not to disable anti-cheat. Copy. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch option, add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video as well. Open the mods archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Need to paste them in the games installed directory. Open game folder. Paste the files here. That's it, the mod has been installed. Need to manually update the mod's DLSS upscaler file. I'll grab it from Cyberpunk 2077. First game to officially support DLSS upscaler version 4. We'll give its direct download link in the description of the video. There's the file nvngx underscore dlss dot dll version 310.1.0.0 open the games install directory open game folder open erss2 folder open bin folder paste the file here replace that's it you need to set the upscalers preset to j in order to activate its transformer model this is for quality modes like dla quality balance and performance need to set the preset to f for ultra performance quality mode we can verify the currently selected preset by using ngx debug overlay this is the code that we need to execute provided by emus just copy these lines create a new text file anyway on your pc Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension of this file from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save, close the file and execute this registry file. This will enable the debug overlay. If you want to disable this overlay, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Then click on file, save, close the file and execute this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the overlay. Execute it. Yes again, OK. Overlay should work now. If you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable hardware related GPU shuttling setting. Right click anyway on the desktop, then click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. From here, enable hardware related GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Elden Ring, scroll down to the end, enable VSync. My monitor supports FreeSync, it's G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the following G-Sync settings. Click on Setup G-Sync here, enable, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model, apply the settings. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator, click on display here. Check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. That's it. Launch the game. We are in. You will see this prompt. A connection error occurred. Unable to start in online mode. This means ESC is not working. Launch argument work. Open the mods menu by pressing the home keyboard key. Click on the drop down bar next to frame generation and select AMD FSR 3. Need to restart the game in order to apply the change. Click on the drop down bar next to super sampling. The mod supports TLSS FSR 3 and XSS subscalers. I'll select TLSS. Need to have an RTX GPU in order to use TLSS. If your PC has a non RTX GPU, you can select either FSR 3 or XSS upscaler. Quality level of the upscaler. I'll select quality. Even supports DLA. Render preset. And just select default. Sharpening on. 
set the value to whatever you like i'll set it to 600 yeah 0 0.600 now just click on view here advanced settings click on the drop down bar next to gi mitigation set it to minimal or full don't disable it i'll select minimal rest of the settings are left as this load the exact same sequence fps increase to around 90 can observe the added amount of smoothness this is how you can bypass Elden Ring's 60 FPS cap and with this method the physics won't break as well. Game's HUD elements are not flickering as you can see but the debug overlay is flickering it's expected the overlay is not a part of the game's interface. In the overlay we can see preset J is selected base resolution is 720p upscale to full HD version of the upscaler 310.1.0 after verifying the information just disable the debug overlay it's better to just disable ray tracing on rtx 2070 super gpu with it disable fps should be close to 120 and you can even use dla engage in combat I encountered one problem with TLSS subscaler in this game. This is the noon time. Just check out the grass quality. Yeah, something is not right. Shimmering effect is being produced. Check out my characters here. A similar effect can be seen. I was able to find a fix for it. Just need to disable ray tracing. Not sure why it's causing this off back to the game yeah the shimmering effect has stopped now fps is close to 120 gp load dropped to around 80 percent i'll just switch to dla super sampling set to dlss quality level set to dla back to the game check out the hair quality that burning effect has stopped now everything is looking so clean check out my shield the textures this is amazing grass blades looking so sharp fps stays within a range of 100 to 120 almost hitting the gp bottleneck here good thing that the grass is not burning now in the debug overlay you can see base resolution is around 1916 by 1076 pixels upscale to full hd resolution just make sure you disable the in-game ray tracing when using the mods dlss upscaler that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day